Hello YouTubers. What we have here is a 30 Herat case. That is made from a 3030 case cut off, run through a sizing die, and then fire formed. And this is a 300 AAC blackout. That is a 223 or 5.56 cut down, run through a sizing die. This is my little Harbor Freight cutoff wheel or cutoff saw. I've probably had this thing six or eight years and never did anything with it. Now that I have this blackout, I need to get busy. What I did to modify it was I took a carriage bolt, quarter 20 carriage bolt, put it in my lathe, turned it down so the this front edge here is flat, and then I just cut this off to make it a little smaller diameter. I found a piece of half inch square steel, and I drilled two holes for a 10, uh, 24 screws to screw it to this base here and I drilled it and tapped it for the quarter 20 running this way and then this little screw is a 440 so that when I get this adjusted where I want it I can set the set screw against it and uh, lock it in place. And I have it set right now to cut this off right at that shoulder. That's where you need to cut them for the uh, blackout. Then you have to trim them with a uh, case trimmer and run them through the sizing die. So that's how I modified my little cutoff wheel, cutoff saw. Hope it gives you some ideas on how you can handle yours. This is the 30 Herat brass. So I can back that up and lock it in place for when I need to cut off more of those. Fully adjustable. The only trick is going to be making sure your brass is in there square. And I may make a little wedge to put in underneath it. So you just set that down on the brass. Set the brass down in on top of a little wedge. And then that will have it squared up. We'll see if it's uh, necessary. Thanks for watching.